Hello all, welcome back to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence, an area that's not only revolutionizing technology, but also opening up a wave of exciting career opportunities. With AI rapidly transforming industries from healthcare to finance and the demand for skilled professionals skyrocketing, learning AI can set you on a path to a rewarding and future-proof career. But where do you start in this vast field? In this video, we'll explore the essential tools and resources you need to get started with AI in 2024. From mastering Python and exploring machine learning libraries to delving into the latest in generative AI, we have got you covered. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before that, if you're interested to make a career in machine learning and AI, unlock your potential in AI and machine learning with Simply Learn's professional certificate course in generative AI and machine learning. In collaboration with IIT Kanpur, designed for aspiring AI professionals, this program offers hands-on experience with machine learning algorithms, deep learning and NLP guided by industry experts and IIT Kanpur faculty. Gain essential AI skills to interactive live classes, self-paced videos and practical projects. Network with a community of learners and professionals and earn a prestigious certificate upon completion. Enroll now to take the first step towards your future in AI and machine learning. You can find the course link in the description box and pinned comments. So let's start by understanding what AI actually is. AI or artificial intelligence refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think and learn like humans. It's a broad field that encompasses everything from machine learning and deep learning to natural language processing and robotics. So first things first, let's talk about mathematics. So why is mathematics so important? Because it forms the backbone of AI. Math helps us understand how data works and how we can make sense of it. So the three main areas that you have to cover in mathematics is linear algebra, calculus, and statistics. So for instance, linear algebra. This helps us organize and manipulate data. Like for example, if you have a big table of numbers, so linear algebra helps you perform operations on it efficiently. So this is essential for handling large data sets and training AI models. Next comes calculus. Now calculus is used to optimize and improve our AI models. It helps in minimizing errors and finding the best settings for our models. So you can think of it as a fine tuning machine to get the best performance. And next comes probability and statistics. So these helps us make predictions and understand data trends. Like for instance, concepts like mean and median summarizes data. Well, standard deviation measures how spread out the numbers are. So this is crucial for ensuring the quality of data, which directly impacts the accuracy of our AI models. So now that we have laid the groundwork with math, it's time to talk about coding. So Python is the go-to programming language for AI because it's user-friendly and packed with libraries that make our lives easier. So with Python, you can use libraries like NumPy, so this library helps us handle large arrays and matrices of numerical data. So imagine working with huge data sets. So NumPy makes calculations on this data fast and easy. Then comes Pandas. So Pandas is great for data manipulation and analysis. For example, it can clean and organize your data, making it ready for analysis. So if your data has missing values, for example, Pandas can help fix that for you. The next comes Matplotlib and Seaborn. So these are basically libraries for creating visualizations, for data visualization. So Matplotlib helps you make basic charts and graphs, while Seaborn makes it easier to create complex visuals like heat maps. So these tools help you see patterns and insights in your data. So speaking of making coding easier, let's move on to a tool that can really streamline your workflow, which is Jupyter Notebooks. 
So once you're comfortable with Python, start getting familiar with Jupyter Notebooks because number one, it has interactive coding. Jupyter Notebook lets you write and run code in small chunks, which is great for experimenting and seeing immediate results of what you know. Then comes visualization. So you can create plots and graphs right next to your code, so which makes it easier to understand your data and also documentation, which means you can add text, images and equations to explain your thought process, making it easier to keep track of your work and share it with others. So having known this, let's dive into AI frameworks next. So these are tools that help you build and train AI models. So number one, scikit-learn. So this is perfect for beginners. It's easy to use and lets you try out different machine learning algorithms. So for example, you can create a model to predict if an email is spam or not. Then comes TensorFlow and Keras. So this is developed by Google. TensorFlow is powerful for building and training deep learning models. And Keras is built on top of TensorFlow and makes it easier to work with. So they are great for more advanced projects like image recognition. Now next comes PyTorch. Now PyTorch is known for its flexibility and ease of use. It is popular for research and development. So you can use it to create models for tasks like language processing. Yeah, so now let's talk about something really cool, generative AI. So this is all about creating new content like images or text from scratch. For example, GANs or Generative Adversarial Networks. So these can generate realistic images. For example, they can create images of faces that look real but don't actually exist. Then comes the famous GPT, which is also known as Generative Pre-trained Transformer. So these models, like ChatGPT, can produce human-like text. For example, they can write essays, answer questions, and even generate code. Then comes DAL-E. So this tool creates images based on text description. Like for example, as you can see here, you can describe a scene and DAL-E will generate an image of it. So as we explore more complex AI topics, it's crucial to have strong skills in handling and visualizing data also. So this is where effective data management comes in. So data handling and visualization are crucial skills for any AI enthusiast. So tools like Pandas and Matplotlib Seaborn, etc. are essential for working with data. So Pandas, for example, helps you clean and organize your data, as already discussed, which is a first step before any analysis. So for example, it can fill in missing values or remove duplicates. And Matplotlib and Seaborn let you create visuals like charts and graphs, making it easier to see trends and insights. So being good at handling and visualizing data means you'll be able to make better decisions and communicate your findings more effectively. So with data handling skills in your toolkit, it's time to explore how AI can understand and generate human language, which brings us to the next topic, which is natural language processing. So natural language processing or NLP focuses on how computers can understand and generate human language. So tools like NLTK or natural language toolkit is great for basic text processing tasks like breaking down sentences into individual words. Then comes Spacey. It is designed for more advanced NLP tasks like identifying names of people, places, and organizations in a text. And then comes Hugging Face Transformers. So it's a state-of-art model for tasks like translation and sentiment analysis. So they help AI understand and generate human language. So mastering NLP will enable you to create applications that interact with human language, which is increasingly important in today's tech world. So having known this, next up we have computer vision. So computer vision is all about helping AI understand and interpret visual information. So with tools like OpenCV, you can work on tasks like object detection and facial recognition. Libraries within TensorFlow and PyTorch also support computer vision projects, allowing you to develop models that analyze images and videos. So becoming skilled in computer vision means you'll be able to build applications that can see and understand the world just like humans do. So now as your projects grow and become more complex, you will need to scale and deploy them effectively. So this is where cloud platforms come into play, which leads us to the next topic, which is scaling and deploying AI with cloud platforms. 
So cloud platforms like Google Cloud AI, AWS AI ML, and Microsoft Azure AI provide the resources needed to handle large data sets and powerful computations. So Google Cloud AI provides tools for training and deploying machine learning models. And AWS AI ML offers a range of services for building and deploying models. Whereas Microsoft Azure AI provides tools for developing and deploying AI solutions. So they also make it easier to deploy your models in real world applications. So learning how to use these platforms will help you scale your projects and make them accessible to users everywhere. Now, finally, if you're working on AI projects with a team, collaboration tools are essential to keep everything on track and running smoothly. So if you're working on AI projects with a team, Collaborative tools are essential, so Git and GitHub will help you manage code changes and work together seamlessly. Google Collab offers a cloud-based online coding environment that helps you write and run Python code in your browser, and it's great for sharing notebooks with others and running machine learning models without needing a powerful computer. And that's a wrap on our deep dive into learning AI in 2024. We hope this guide has sparked a curiosity and provided a clear roadmap for stepping into this dynamic field. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insights. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing programs, and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.